Mother's Day is May 10th, and there's not much time left. So come on over. We'll have what you're looking for. There's so much for mom at Covington Plaza. Count on quality, price, service, and special Mother's Day treats this week when you shop Scott's. Save on USDA Choice Boneless Top Sirloin Steak, just $1.99 a pound. Your satisfaction is guaranteed or double your money back. Treat mom to gorgeous azaleas, just $14.98 for a beautiful gift of Mother's Day cheer. And kids, Saturday, May 9th, have fun decorating your own cake for mom or grandma at any Scott's location. Cake start at $3.99. Quality, price, service, and Mother's Day treats. Shop Scott's. At Tompkins and Dodge on Illinois Road, we've got the selection of cars for you today at only $39.95. You can buy this 87 Chevy Celebrity Station Wagon, this 87 Ford Taurus Wagon, this 87 Plymouth Caravel, this 85 Dodge Caravan SE, or this 86 Nissan Hardbody Pickup for only $39.95. So pick up the phone and call us on the hotline at 436-9000, or better yet, hurry into Tompkins and Dodge on Illinois Road today. Death Row, tonight on 21 Alive News at 10. Well, I'm pleased to introduce you to a young friend. This is Wendy Carol Roth. Ms. Roth is Long Island's own and has worked for, of all people, Phil Donahue in her very, very illustrious career. I'd like to tell you that Ms. Roth worked as the producer for Donahue on Today when we were on the Today Show, 79, 80, to 82, something like that. She was also senior producer for The Human Animal, which I'm proud to say aired on NBC in 1986. And not about over 10 years ago, Wendy Roth took me out to the parking lot. It's been a while since a woman has invited me to a parking lot. And she was saying something about neurologists and her tests, and I couldn't figure out what. Wendy Carol Roth has multiple sclerosis. You should also know that Wendy Roth was a water bug. I mean, you never saw uh, anybody move in several different directions as once, at once, as well as did Wendy Roth. Here is a bright, talented young woman who, not unlike countless other men and women, young men and women in this country, look up to discover, often in their early, late 20s, that they are either feeling tingling, perhaps have vision problems, they go to the doctor, often misdiagnosed, and all of a sudden comes down the hammer. You have multiple sclerosis. Wendy, you got it pretty good, too, if we want to put it that way. I mean, oh. you always did things uh, to the nth degree. And in this case, you have, you have, uh, I notice you have a chin manipulator for your wheels. Right. So, meaning you have then uh, neck up uh, muscular right. neurological control. Right. Uh-huh. Wow. I want to tell you something else. Wendy Roth, in 12 months' time, traveled 32,000 miles, visiting over 40 of America's national parks, and with Michael Tom Payne, has written this book, published by the Sierra Club. This is a fabulous achievement for people of disabilities, people who are seniors, people who have kids that crawl on too many, all these things. Everything you ever wanted to know about access in national parks is in this book. I congratulate you both. Now, here comes the interview. First, we're going to talk about you. Did you believe it when your neurologist first said maybe? Um, I thought maybe. He said there were three, po there were three Ps, possible, probable, positive. And I was sure as the possible. I was positive that it wasn't more. But you remember back then, I was not like this. I was walking, I was limping a little, but it took yeah, a long time. Yeah, but didn't, I didn't notice it. You were really a, a, a tremendous actress, as I recall. I mean, you're, you did not become visibly uh, distracting, however we want to put right. that. That's a prejudicial word. Uh, for a long time after you knew. But go ahead, I yeah, interrupted. It go took ahead. A, bit, a good seven years. I was playing tennis, I was running around, I was doing modern dance. So it's, MS is something that can creep up gradually. It's not something that has to go wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Mm -hmm. So I was actually very fortunate. I had many, many years to get used to it. And of course, I didn't expect to getting used to it this way, but mm -hmm. um, I mean, you saw me about, what, a year ago? Mm -hmm. And I still had use, use of my arms and my hands. 
So a lot of this is very gradual. Yes, it is true. Uh, uh, a year ago this last summer, that would have been the summer of 89, right? Yes. You got it. Uh, you could hold a Coke can and a straw. Right. right. Now that's over. Right. Uh, you are macrobiotic, is that so? For the past two months, two uh -huh. and a half months. Right. Um, and occasionally you'll get movement in your arms. Do I understand this? Am I gonna, you have to back up on this one, uh, Brian. Huh. A, a side shot, maybe. Can I embarrass you? Yeah, me? well, just give it a shot. It's, it's, there, that's it, right there. And you do exercise. Does somebody throw you around the room or drop yeah, you on the floor? Much, or how does this much. work? You want to get your heart numbers up. You want Absolutely. your heart to work. Absolutely, and sometimes I can move my arms a lot more. Mike will show how I can move them sometimes. I can't do it now. Her, uh, uh, at her, during her workouts, she can get her arms to come up almost to shoulder level with her uh, aerobics coach. I uh, want my aerobics yeah. to coach. I'm sorry. Go on. That's all right. What my aerobics coach does is... Um, you don't want to be sorry to him. Really, you know, really. We'll, we'll let him talk, but go ahead. Is move me around and throw my arms around, throw my legs around. It gets my heart rate, my pulse rate. Um, she tries to elevate it about 30 you know, and to get it that way. Right. And it used to be that I'd lift weights, but it's been a couple of years since mm -hmm. I did that. Well, it may I ask you, <laughs> what are you going to do? It's my show. <laughs> How old are you, Wendy Carol Roth of East Norwich, Long Island? I was just 39 and a half. You're 39 and a half. So this tape, here she is, we're, we're doing the human animal, we're at the National Monkey Center of the National Institute of Health, where they, you know, check on the monkeys and take notes and figure out how they behave and aggression and bonding and family and rearing. Rhesus monkeys, National Institute of Health. I'm interviewing the head of this thing, Sumi. Steve Sumi. Steve Sumi. And a monkey goes for Wendy. I mean, in an erotic way. He falls in love, Bill. The monkey falls in love with Wendy. <laughs> So naturally we filmed this, hey, you know, you gotta, this is monkey behavior. I want to show you, the, here's uh, when, when Wendy Roth in 1984. Very dark, I think these oh, animals wait. out here are as good an example of that as uh, can be found. In fact, Eric is feeling so full of himself, he even tried to entice a female member of our staff to join his troop. Uh, Eric knows the difference between human males and females, and while he generally prefers females, he has special preferences for certain types, and it looks like Wendy's one of them. Uh, periodically, he will bare his teeth and bounce up and down and turn his back, and that's a solicitation, that's an invitation to follow him and join uh, the rest of the troop. There is a display. That, that's an attempt actually to get Wendy to join? Yes. The colony. That's correct. Well, Eric, I don't speak for Wendy, but your chances are probably less than 50-50. Well, well, this is... Uh, <laughs> the, the, that is how they flirt. I don't have time to explain all this to you. Now, don't lose our point here. Um, within a 12-month period, 32,000 miles, in the first ever comprehensive compilation of what... People with cha physical challenges, seniors, people temporarily, maybe you got hit by a pitch, I don't know, you're having trouble, here is the book for you, complete with maps. Show them some of these stills, uh, Brian. Uh, well, there they are, the, this good-looking young couple at where? That's uh, Tenaya Lake, uh, up at the top near Tuolumne Meadows in Yellowstone National, uh, Yosemite National Park. Here you are strapped in, this must have been some picnic for you, you are strapped into a raft in... Big Bend National Park, Texas. Uh, we should have known that MS would not slow Wendy down. Go ahead, Michael. This is Kings Canyon National Park. Next. And Sequoia National Park in the campground. Next slide. This is Mesa Verde in southwestern uh, Colorado. These are the color photos from this book, incidentally. Here you are making, now, you know, you and animals. I mean, first it's monkeys, now it's horses, Wendy. This Where is, is this? This is uh, O'Connell Lufty in Great Smoky Mountains. And this is? This is up at the top at Forest Overlook in Rocky Mountain National Park, Colorado. Obviously, there's these, look at that. Isn't that a great shot? It's and this is, Lake again. Uh-huh. How'd they do it? I mean, they slept in tent. You know, how, what's the coldest? You must have, come on, you must have said, Michael. The morning that it was 17 degrees. 17 above. And our commode was frozen. Uh-huh. That's when you know you're camping. No room service. Here, 
Michael, here's the tape of the van. I want you to just give us a briefing here. Right. On, uh, here's the van. What he did to this van is remarkable. There is not a cubic inch of wasted space. Show him, Brian. We had to not only move around with all of our uh, gear and everything to do the entire project, but we also had to live in this. So we outfitted it so Wendy could enter from the rear using this hydraulic lift. And some lifts are on the back, but it precludes being able to uh, do anything but uh, parallel park. So we decided to mount the, rift, the lift in the rear. And then once Wendy is in, she can either be uh, locked down in the center of the van to travel, or she can be transferred to the passenger seat. And this is us getting in. We're at Golden Gate National Recreation Area right here, which is part of the National Park System. Now, don't forget, they sleep in this thing. There is a toilet, you'll see in a moment. And it's got everything. I mean, this guy can fix an oboe. I mean, no matter what you need, a saxophone, doesn't matter. So we're gonna, uh, we're gonna bolt Wendy's wheelchair down to the floor. We uh, set it into uh, these uh, brackets. And this is a legal Department of Transportation setup, so she can actually, it's actually safe. Hopefully she'd survive a, you know, a crash. Aye. 32,000 miles. How many parks? 39 designated national parks, 45 other units that the Park Service administers. Mm -hmm. And we interviewed uh, superintendents, park officials, accessibility coordinators, and visitors who actually we happened to meet to see what, what their feedback was on the parks and, mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and their trails and such. Right. Uh, now, let me just talk about you two for a moment. As you know, uh, you know, we get pretty personal here on the Donahue Show. That's our business here. People expect it. <laughs> you are all she's got on the road, or if you're alone. So this means a lot of this, huh? Transferring, yes. Transfer. Uh, your home is fixed with uh, ramps, right? You did that yourself? Yeah, we put in ramps to enter the home. However, uh, when w we first moved into this house that we're renting, uh, Wendy could move around pretty well by herself. She was transferring herself. When I met her, she was walking. I met her before the monkey. She was walking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just in time, may we say. Yeah, Eric, so. Eric really had a crush, yeah. She called me that night. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. And, huh. uh, they, and Eric's uh, in love. And she wasn't using this chair, and that, that home was really suitable. Now she needs more transference because the doors are too narrow, and uh, there's two rooms that are down a couple steps she can't get into, so she needs more assistance. She actually honestly needs more than I can give her 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We have people that uh, come no. out and help us a few, no. a few hours around. Uh, so, but in the parks, you, you, you have, you're in the shower with her? You're in the toilet with her? Ladies' rooms. All you over go the to the ladies' room? What do you do? Whistle or how do you do this? It's silent. <laughs> I mean, but don't you have. Obviously, somebody's got to all clear this, right? I mean, no. They, no. We've walked into. I mean, we've gone in together to ladies' room, hundreds, maybe thousands of ladies' rooms together, and only one person, a cleaning woman, said anything. Huh. I usually Women start, are very giving about this. I usually start off by saying, Excuse me. You know, a man's coming in to help me if there's somebody in there, and sometimes we don't even do that. Mm -hmm. uh, would you kindly, Wendy, give us just a little mini uh, comment on uh, the emotional challenge here. Now, having lived with you, uh, uh, professionally speaking, during the early part of the, uh, oh, please, these audiences, <laughs> um, at the onset of your illness, um, I, you know, I was there only when, I was there when you started to wobble. I was there when you went to the cane. And I was there when you finally had to sit down on what we called the turbo gerbil. It was a little motor scooter. Um, tell me how, uh, now how you've, how you've dealt with this because uh, I don't have to tell you, this book is quite literally uh, something that might be needed by as many as 57% of the people when you factor in the aged, not only those who are permanently uh, physically challenged, but those who break a leg or whatever might happen to them. Um, how'd you do? How'd you deal with this? And are there stages? And there are definitely stages. The biggest thing is that I've never stopped being frustrated. I am always frustrated about what I can't do. The thing that people don't realize, and that I often don't realize, is that it's not a question of lacking 
independence. One can always remain independent of spirit, of thought, of things you're doing and experiencing. And just because somebody's helping you does not mean that you're dependent. In fact, everybody gets help. Now, this sounds like a Pollyanna thing, and I must say, there are many days and many hours when I sit and I cry, and I don't think this at all. But I think in the long run, that's some way that you just have to think about it. And the bottom line is that as hard and as frustrating and as really challenging it is, um, it has changed my life, obviously, quite a few ways, but also in ways that I think I never would have visited all the parks. I never would have written as much as I do. I have to think about what it has given me. And sometimes it's a lot easier to say, gosh, I wish I were back producing. You know, that's what I want to do. But on the other hand, would I ever do this kind of thing? I mean, maybe this is some kind of, um, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Well, you're certainly still gorgeous after all these years. I should say 10 years, isn't that, you know, 12, whatever. We go back maybe 13. Um, your relationship with Michael began on January 1st of what? 1984. So uh, that's an eight-year relationship now. I was walking with a cane. Uh, you met him? He, you had a cane when you met him? Yes, the cane used to play golf with in the studio. Yes, I do remember that. Um, and we should say that you're not married. Uh, there will be a curiosity about that. Um, we should say also that you have crossed another barrier of uh, recently. Do I understand? Michael has established that he can't do this by himself. That's right. There aren't a hell of a lot of people that could all by themselves. No. This is something. You have male attendance. Yes, I do. And that male attendance, part of their responsibility would include personal hygiene. Oh. <laughs> I just have a picture of a woman coming in and saying to me, it's time to wash our little tushy. <laughs> Are you beyond this now? This must have been... How tough was this for you? And obviously, these people better be... Obviously, they're skilled, and I assume they're socially graceful as well. How do we want to say this? You're actually not, not at all distracted by this now, are you? Well, the interesting thing is, actually, the woman that helps me and the man that helps me now are not skilled. We've trained them. Really? Yes, absolutely from start. And in fact, there's a lot of stuff that we don't get along we're not able to do yet. It's very hard. Um, but the bottom line is, do I get to pee or don't I? And if I pee, where am I going to pee? Right. And I like the bathroom. And if it's somebody that can handle that, and he or she can do it unembarrassedly, I'm for it. I'd much rather have the ability to do that than not do it. Mm -hmm. And after a while, I just, you know, we have a guy who stays overnight about four or five nights a week. And so Michael can get some rest. He sleeps in another room. And the man sleeps in another room from me. And he comes in during the night, rolls me over, and you know, moves me around, puts me on the commode. And it was very strange at first. But after a while, it was like, gosh, Michael cannot do this every night. It's just too much. What's my choice? We interviewed a lot of women. And sometimes, although some women are very strong, um, sometimes men are better at upper body strength. And when you got to pee, I guess it's surprising what you'll take for help if you need it, huh? Absolutely. And I want to say one thing. The strongest person that helps me now is a woman. Really? Yeah. I think we ought to send your back to the National Chiropractic Association. <laughs> really, you are in fabulous physical condition. You'd have to be. Here are the authors of Easy Access to National Parks, and we'll get uh, another look at some of what they've done the parks they visited, and talk to other people who may be in a wheelchair and are similarly physically challenged in a country that is not always friendly to their needs. And we'll be back in just a moment. <laughs> When you spend this much time and effort finding fresh vegetables, shouldn't your fat-free dressing be just as fresh? New Good Seasons for Fat-Free Dressing. You
make it fresh yourself with no oil. A unique blend of herbs and spices makes it taste great. And just 10 calories. New good seasons for fat-free dressing. Because any way you shake it, the best fat-free is the fresh fat-free. When allergies come on this strong, Benadryl comes on stronger. People who use plain calamine lotion to relieve itches or poison ivy are easy to spot. But Caladryl Clear not only works better to stop the itch, it dries this clear. So nobody will ever spot you. Try Caladryl Clear. Whenever you reach into the dairy case, reach for the stars. The sign of pure farm fresh dairy products from Schenkel's All-Star Dairy. Every day in so many delicious ways, enjoy the wholesome goodness of the All-Star lineup from Schenkel's. Quality assured, always fresh as a far morning. For you and your family from Schenkel's. Next time you shop, reach for the stars from the All-Star lineup from Schenkel's All-Star Dairy. These wives are mighty upset because their husbands would rather wrestle with these women than them. They're a lot of fun and they're easy to get addicted to. They say boxy boxers are stealing their husbands, but they're willing to put up their dukes to get them back. Don't miss the fight of the decade when boxy boxers defend their title. Actually, I kind of would have much rather punched him. Get knocked out by boxy boxers next Sally. Sally Jessica Raphael, Wednesday at 10 on 21 Alive. I'm glad you waited, caller. Go ahead. Hello, Phil. I um, have multiple sclerosis. I've had it since I was 14 and a half. I am now 29 years old in October. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I, um, it still really started kicking up ab about maybe 20 years old. Mm -hmm. It's a very terrifying disease, and I really admire you, ma'am, for what you can do. I know I can't do too much. I'm confined to a wheelchair myself soon. And I give you credit. How could you go on, on those rocky mountains and all this stuff? I, I'm petrified. <laughs> yeah. I give you credit. And also I have to ask you about, I would like to have a family. And what do you think about pregnancy with us? What do you think about pregnancy? Yes. Uh-huh. Well, now, Hello? welcome to the Donahue Show. What do you think about pregnancy, Wendy? They say that there's a 50-50 chance that you'll either get better or worse, or maybe stay the same. So it's really up to you. It's really something you have to weigh. But the thing to remember is that your relationship is really key to that. I'm assuming that you have a relationship. I think it's really hard to have a baby alone if you have a disability. Uh -huh. And I'm assuming that you have a relationship that can be supportive. Because it's not always easy. Mm -hmm. Michael and I have a lot of problems. Um, and having a third person uh, definitely be another uh, right. challenge. Um, you and Michael have a lot of problems. Um, uh, you're saying beyond what would the, the normal couple romantically involved would have. So? Maybe, maybe not. You know, I think that we go through problems like every normal couple. But it seems accentuated often. And it might seem that way, but I'm not sure it's true. What do you think? The issues and the politics sometimes center around the disability and not about the personality. And it's a different dynamic than, than any other relationship I've had. You can try and stay true to it, but the disability sometimes becomes, well, we can't go there because it's too hard to get the wheelchair in. But you have to catch yourself in making an excuse for the disability and ask yourself, do I really want, not want to go there? I'm just not saying it. I'm blaming it on the wheelchair. Uh-huh. Uh, and also, when she's seated, you have to ensure that she's balanced. Isn't that yeah, so? I need to I watch mean, her. She yeah. could teeter. Yeah. Right. Now, if you were to be distracted and she would teeter, it would be, I would think, tempting for Wendy to become a little bit impatient. I don't know that... Uh, huh? I do, and I become angry. Uh -huh. I mean, it's right there. I get very angry. Yeah, you took your eyes off me, and then here I go, and now I'm, you know, in front of other people. You, do, you don't want to appear to be... Uh... It's not so much that. It's much that I don't want to have to say, Michael, will you please help me? Will you please help me? I get agitated that um, he didn't see. I see. And y is he allowed to tell you you're full of baloney? Well, he should say it. He uh -huh. should say it because, really, it's not his job to have to watch me all the time. Uh -huh. But uh, you also, you've better damn well not patronize this young woman. 
Well, I patronize her on the little things because I think we all do with our people that we're very close to. Um, but when we have issues that are, that are very important to both of us, we really have to work at, at honestly thrashing them out. Um, Wendy likes me to do little things that I think are kind of obsessive, but I kind of go ahead and do them so that she just... Only can, sometimes. If she feels more comfortable, that's worth a lot rather than just, be, rather than just agitating her by saying, well, you're just, you know, you're, uh -huh. just, you're just being... You're a film it. editor by trade. You edit right. movies and television tape and uh, entertainment programs, documentaries. Right. You did your own treaties on unions, a history of unions in Hollywood. Do yes. I understand this? Yes, it's a historical... You're also an amateur right. photographer, and you did, all the, you did all the carpentry work at home yourself, a Accommodating Wendy's wheels. So right. far, so good, huh? Yes. You also rehabbed, redid this. Uh, is are, were you still there, caller? Yes, I am. Uh, let's try for number three here. Is, is it ready? Can you see your TV? Yes. Okay. Uh, you say you're not in the chair yet. Uh, that's good. And take your time. Wendy will tell you not to hurry. Here's here's what uh, here's what uh, people who are physically challenged can do at Yellowstone. Watch this. This is from a video, Michael. Few believed early explorers when they described a Yellowstone wonderland filled with spouting geysers, bubbling mud pots, and intensely colored steaming hot springs. Yellowstone National Park is noted for its boardwalks around its geyser basins, many of which are accessible by wheelchair. That's one of the big ones, or shall we say, one of the most popular. Definitely. Uh, Yellowstone, and you can enjoy this. It must be fabulous. I mean, first of all, I know it's not always a picnic, but you get to sit down and see all this fabulous expression of life. I know you've paid a very big price for that kind of leisure, but it is truly a spiritual experience, is it not? Yes, it is. And I must say, to be honest, that there were very many times when I would just say, this is too much. I can't do this anymore. We're just doing too much. I want my bed, you know? I want my food. I want to be warm. I'm tired of being cold. I'm tired of this bloody commode. Um, but I'm so glad that we kept on going. When I see all this material, when I see the video we did, when I see our book, I just go, I can't believe it. I wasn't there. I wasn't there. And you know, I don't know that I'd ever do it again now that I went through it. <laughs> but I sure want the experience again. And how proud you must be of... Uh of the book, Easy Access to National Parks. This is, this is published by the Sierra Club, and we'll be back in just a moment. You may cook with some love, a like stuff. But it won't cook enough like the Beatles. They're thin, or they're pale, or they'll run. But the Beatles marches on. The Vita cooks better. Plump, juicy, and delicious. Emgi hot dogs are the perfect recipe for family fun. Now you're cooking. Now you're cooking. Now you're cooking. Emgi, taste the quality. Emgi lunch meats really stack up. Slice after slice, you can taste the quality. Now you're cooking. Now you're cooking. Now you're cooking. Emgi, taste the quality. Just where would you get away to see the world's largest stalagmite? The birthplace of the Underground Railroad. And the country's largest horse troop on parade. If you had your free Indiana travel guide, you'd know exactly where. You could use a little Indiana. Call 1-800-274-6646 for travel discounts. 800-274-6646. Call it what you want, but it's not college. You're right, it's not college, but I'll like what I'm doing. And I'll learn skills that people need today. What about a job? Dad, look at the companies that hire graduates from ITT Tech. Is this really what you want? Then we want it too. Find out more about ITT Technical Institute. Call now for this brochure, 1-800-942-0088. If you want to say Happy Mother's Day with TCBY frozen yogurt, try a TCBY cake or pie. They're delicious, convenient, and so easy to wrap. The country's best yogurt, TCBY. 
To be part of the audience, please send a postcard to Donahue Tickets, care of NBC, 30 Rockefeller Plaza, New York, New York, 10112. Remember, postcards only, please. Sir, uh, a question about NASA, National Av Aviation. We've often wondered how the astronauts stay up there as long as they do and take care of the functions that they have. And the cosmonauts were up there nine months. My God, that must have been something. Is there anything that's carried over into the handicapped field in terms of Technology. helping you? Well, that's interesting. You know, I called them once to find out how they manage their, um, their, what do you, Female oh, hygiene program. Yes, female hygiene program. And they ended up not having any suggestions. So uh, the women in space are uh, obviously, uh, talk about uncharted. You are, I might say, the Lewis and Clark of uh, the physically challenged. You have, to say again, traveled 32,000 miles visiting over 40 of our national parks. Uh, Michael, you know, I happen to know you, and I know that you're as normal and regular a guy as there is out there, and you want no medals, but people do want to bestow upon you some kind of uh, supernatural sense of uh, grace here, and you don't, you don't think it takes that? Do I understand your position? My feeling is that just because one uh, chooses to have a relationship with somebody with a disability doesn't automatically put them on the petition for sainthood. There's no... There's nothing, there's, there's, it actually was never a second thought on my part. I already knew Wendy had a disability when I met her. And take it from me, he's not a saint. <laughs> and, exactly, thank you. And we're, and... We, so you followed your heart as anybody would, yeah. with or without the wheels or the cane or anything. Yeah, I really enjoy being with Wendy. So if there's other um, uh, ancillary things that go along with it, then I'm willing to, uh, to, to help deal with those. Uh -huh. But it's real important to get him assistance, because although he's very willing to do that, it's very true when he gets tired and it's a little bit too much, we both just have it. We have it with the, each other like all couples. And when we don't have help, for me, um, our coupledom is on the rocks like most people. You know, if we don't have independent time or I don't have help from other people, um, forget the sainthood, really on both our parts. Sleep deprivation will definitely hurt anybody's relationship. Uh, makes you crabbier. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. And we'll be back in just a moment. It's expensive to Nutricize. Think about this. You can dine on Nutrisystem for about three dollars a meal, or eat the usual and really pay for it. Nutricize your life. Last three days to lose ten pounds for ten dollars plus the cost of meals with our Great Beginnings program. Call one eight hundred three two one thin. Presenting eight calorie desserts. The eight calorie cookie. The eight calorie ice cream scoop. The eight calorie. The candy bar, or an entire dessert that's only eight calories. Delicious sugar-free jello gelatin with 100% NutraSweet. With only eight calories per serving, you can enjoy a whole luscious dessert instead of just a bite. There's always room for sugar-free jello. What happened the last time you had your carpet cleaned? We called a discount outfit, and the crew they sent out wasn't quite what we expected. Ours dried okay. But then it shrank. We had them steam cleaned. And they took a while to dry. Next time, call ChemDry. Our patented carbonated method gets carpets cleaner, and they dry faster, too, without shrinkage. Call us. Your carpet will love you for it. Race to save during B Windows Race Day Sale. B Windows rollback price is a huge 33%. Plus, save an additional 25% during our May Race Day Sale. Race to check your old windows. B Windows tilt for easy cleaning and never need painting. Save a huge 33 plus 25% on B's custom windows, doors, and siding. Race to call B Window before this sale races to a close. That's famous B Window. B Window. Let's talk about TVs. Not one of those old mother-in-law doesn't want them anymore. Gee, thanks. Snow on the screen, knobs falling off, rabbit ears, tinfoil on the antenna. Reception only gets better if you hold it like 
this kind of TV? No, I mean a real TV. Like you can get it at your Get It Today store. RTO Rent to Own. RTO's got a remote control color portable for only $9.99 a week. Or get into super stereo sound for only $11.99. Get it today. Look us up in the white pages under RTO. <laughs> Well, you've heard the comment, uh, uh, you know, until you walk a mile in his moccasins, until you ride a mile in Wendy's chair, you really don't have any idea what, uh, what being non-ambulatory can mean. Let me show you something. Uh, some of you have met uh, Suzanne before. Here, let me show you this tape here. I want to read this for you. 20 years ago, Susie Solomon appeared on our program at the age of five. I say again, this was 20 years ago. Having been born without arms or legs, Suzanne and her parents were an inspiration. And years later, people were still asking me, whatever happened to that little Can you girl? Excite little, blo little boy blue for me? I'm just going to, all right, I, I bet I can do it. You want me to do it? Little boy blue. I forget the second part of it. Blow your horn. Oh, yeah. Little boy blue, blow your horn. Um, little boy blue, blow your horn. I forget the next part. The sheep's in the meadow. Oh, yeah. The sheep's in the meadow, the cows in the, 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 cows in the corn. Mm-hmm. Little boy blue, come blow your horn. The sheep's in the meadow, the cows in the corn. Where's the little boy that looks after his sheep under a haystack, fast asleep? Oh, yeah, I remember that. That's a nice, uh, that's a nice poem. Whatever happened to that little girl? Well, last year we found her, 23 year, years old now, a recent college graduate living independently with personal care attendants, and most importantly, she was looking for a job. Well, with all that uh, she's accomplished, she still encountered discrimination. They're all very polite to me, to my face and everything. You know, it's just at the, you know, when I received these rejection letters at the end, saying that, you know, I wasn't qualified. Um, for instance, I went just a few weeks ago to a telemarketing position interview, and that doesn't require any type of degree, college degree whatsoever. And I received a rejection letter saying that I wasn't qualified. And it, I don't think it was for the physical aspects of it because, you know, you wear a headset. So it wouldn't be as if I'd have to be holding a phone receiver. Mm -hmm. And um, I usually keep a stick on my side and I can press computer buttons or what have you. And I, I also have a voice-activated computer at home. And I was willing to take that to my place of employment. I'm pleased to welcome Suzanne Solomon back to our program. And yes, since she last appeared, you got a job. Yes. Well, there is a God. <laughs> uh, You work for Independent Living Options Incorporated in Cincinnati. You moved from Dayton to Cincinnati, and you tell us, first of all, you've encountered uh, more problems in Cincinnati than in yes, Dayton. Yes, it's not, it's not a very accessible city compared to Dayton. Um, I don't know if it's because Wright State University is um, very dedicated. Where to much of the work on technology and uh, therapy and uh, for physically challenged right. people takes place, yes. Yes, but um, the, the transit system, the mass transit system, the, bus, the city bus line, um, they just a couple of weeks ago, out of 300 buses, put installed 20, um, and on 20 buses installed lifts on them, wheelchair lifts. Mm -hmm. So that's a plus. But that's only five bus lines compared mm -hmm. to. Uh, you mentioned in the tape clip, uh, Su Suzanne, that uh, you know what it's like. Did you ever make an appointment without telling them you were physically challenged? Oh yes. And then you showed up. Yes. And you could see it, could you, in their faces? You can see it in their faces, yes. But they were very, like I said before, they were very polite. They're always polite. Yes. But you didn't get the job. Right. Uh, you know about this, Wendy. Oh, yeah. They're always, they were always very polite. They're always very polite. They talk a lot. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, and they try to overlook your disability. They won't ask you questions regarding it, of course. Ignore it entirely. Yes. Whereas you'd appreciate the honesty, wouldn't you? I mean, that's, you want to get to it, don't you? Right, If exactly. they have any questions, okay, young woman, what, you know, what yeah. can you do for us? Right, and, you know, I can, I'm very capable, you know, despite my disability, and, you know, I'd like to show them my qualifications. Uh -huh. um, Susie, you have a clavicle-activated yes, device. Yes. So, um, 
It, we should, we owe it to this audience to say, in the event you did not see Suzanne on her occasion of her last appearance on our program, I have had the pleasure of meeting her parents, and quite obviously, this very bright, talented, beautiful, well-balanced, uh, emotionally centered woman was very well raised. Her mother has no idea, took nothing during the pregnancy, nothing. No arms, no legs, at birth. Um, we should say that, uh, uh, well, I want you to uh, just demonstrate here, because you're no longer in the sway walker, now you've right. got, give <laughs> okay. him a little demo here. My off and on switches and the high and low speed switches are behind the, the clavicle control. And uh, there's a little cup that I place on my clavicle and I uh -huh. can manipulate it that way. Right. Now, this point should be made here. Uh, Wendy doesn't have that motor skill. No. So, we go now to the chin. Susie's a lot more adept at this than I am. That's my on-off. It's a straw. Well, you didn't put my clutches no. on. Sorry. <laughs> Talk about being... Darn blind. it, Michael. We got a show to do here. <laughs> Forward. Forward. Back. Uh-huh. But Suzanne's a lot better at it than I am right now. Yes. I've also used this since I was five years old. So. Yes. And it should be said that you do not know the life experience of having limbs. It's a, it's a normal life experience. Uh, you don't, you've never had the experience oh, right. of limbs. Exactly. I don't know any difference. So. Yes. Uh, and Wendy then had, obviously you've had your own emotional uh, challenges. I assume there's been a couple of tears uh, shed in your own, you know, quiet way along the way. Um, and Wendy, of course, had to uh, adapt to this new technology exactly. from uh, an active life that was in every way, mentally, physically, just... Uh, the woman did four things. You remember the guy in the Ed Sullivan show, You're Too Young, who kept the plates going, <laughs> yeah. you know, and running and keep the last one going? That's Wendy. But Phil, it's still a very active life. It is. That's I the point that should be made. I mean, all you did was write a book and visit 32,000. And even more than that. Right. And I'm working on another project, the Easy Access um, park the Challenge, the Park Challenge. I'm still doing 17 things. Michael's always saying, stop, you're doing too much. So it hasn't changed. And, we're, and, and I'll tell you what, you, you've, you're still as uh, clear I, of eye and uh, insightful as you've always been. I do not patronize my old pal, Wendy Carol Roth of Long Island. Uh, you want me to do it now? I'm going to try, I'm going to get in a wheelchair and just give this audience a brief demonstration of some of the things that you'd never expect to happen that people in wheelchairs encounter in their lives daily. And we'll be back in just a moment. Turning a silk into a cane isn't real magic, but this is. Michael's Barbecued Ribs and Chicken, now available exclusively at Alexander's Restaurant. Michael's Ribs and Chicken is basted with their own special tangy and sweet sauce. Baby back ribs with no fat, lean and tender, young, succulent chicken, both barbecued over mesquite wood for an unbelievable treat. Enjoy them in Alexander's newly remodeled dining room or order for carryout from Alexander's on East State. For real magic, watch me make these ribs and chicken disappear. Hi, I'm Wayne Lubner with Schneider National Carriers, and we have jobs now for truck drivers. We offer excellent pay and benefits. Last year, the average first-year Schneider driver made over $25,000. If inexperienced, you can qualify through training programs with the Commercial Drivers Institute. Full scholarships are available for qualified applicants, and your new career can start with just one phone call. Call Commercial Drivers Institute to learn more about training opportunities and interviews with Schneider. Call 1-800-832-SEMI. You do everything you can to protect those you love. But if a careless driver should happen to turn your trip to the store into a trip to the hospital, who's going to protect you? The Love em Off Law Offices. Dedicated professionals at work every day helping accident victims. Make the call thousands in northeastern Indiana have made. The Love em Off Law Offices. Making the law work for you every day. Call 423-2581. 
21 Alive challenges you to clean up your yard during spring cleanup 92, Saturday, May 9th. You could win this powerful Toro recycler riding mower from Mutton Power Equipment or a gardening tools package. To participate, send your pledge in a self-addressed stamped envelope to 21 Alive by May 7th. On May 9th, display the 21 Alive spring cleanup sign and you could appear on 21 Alive News. Trying for the Toro mower is May 11th during 21 Alive News at 6, spring cleanup 92, May 9th. Take our challenge. To be part of the audience, please send a postcard to Donahue Tickets, care of NBC, 30 Rockefeller Plaza, New York, New York, 10112. Remember, postcards only, please. Let me give you just a, a chance to understand this. Yes, a, and this is a rant. And incidentally, thank you. Did you, are you helping? No. no. Uh, <laughs> what isn't funny is if you lean back, goodbye. Now, here's just... Here's just some of what uh, physically ch problems that physically challenge. I mean, uh, who, I, you know, who would have thought of this? Now, all right, I get it open. And there's a, yeah, I, I'm not telling you anything, am I? <laughs> uh, uh, you got to do a little wheelie there. You got to do a wheelie? Yeah. Oh. All right. Now watch this. You just, you just got to a nice, expensive restaurant, right? And you go to wheel in, and, oh. um, You know, this is not to say, you know, uh, um, we don't mean to be so light about this as to make it, uh, you know, cute. It isn't. Uh, and physically challenged people are, uh, you know, don't want anybody pl to uh, patronize them either. And this alone is not going to do it. But when you put this against this, against public buildings, day after day, new places that you want to go, uh, who was it? Did you say there were major chains in Cincinnati that had no uh, handicapped parking? Yes, I went to a major well-known. Tell them which one. Can I really? Sure. It was, it was a Wendy's restaurant. It was fast food Wendy's restaurant. In and Cincinnati? In Cincinnati, down the street from my new apartment. And my family and I went there for a quick dinner. And um, there wasn't any handicapped parking. And the, the regular parking spaces were so narrow, I could not drop down my lift, my wheelchair lift, to get out. So we had to back up. My father had to back up, let me out, then, po then park the van. Right. So. Michael, just give us uh, your, your briefest description of... Generally speaking, our national parks are what for the physically challenged? Uh, Various. Well, our national parks have a long way to go. They, there are opportunities for people to uh, go into wilderness areas and to experience some of the, the most precious parts of the crown jewels of our country, which I believe that they are. But uh, there's still a long way to go, and there are, is a long way to go throughout this country on it not only the national parks. Yeah, I did want to make the point, and of course I can't find it now, that you've got maps in here which, uh, which give the uh, reader a chance to uh, get a better idea, I'll take that mic, uh, about what's, uh, what's available. Thank you, Jim, thank you. First meet Sharon Yonker Dietz, who is uh, Presbyterian minister, was in Montclair, New Jersey. Meet his sister, have you chatted? Yes, we have. Okay, same uh, affliction multiple sclerosis. You do have uh, hand use, huh? Right. Yeah. When did you have to sit down, uh, Sharon? Uh, about six months after my diagnosis on May 12th of 1988. And you were how old then, may I? Yeah? I was 41. I'm the old woman of this crew. Yeah. It is true, is it not, that the young adults are more likely to? That's right. Right. Okay, but as in all of these things, there's nothing, you don't put anything in granite. You didn't, you didn't know you had it until you were 41? That's right. You had no symptoms? Well, not the kind you go to the doctor for. You don't think, oh, my glasses are on top of my head when they really aren't. They're on your face and go to the doctor because you feel like you've got a tight band on. Uh -huh. But when This it's... is a neurological distress. Right. Yes. Very good. All right. So what happened? What's with the uh, uh, Episcopal Church here? Uh, Presbyterian. Presbyterian, I'm sorry. Uh, Montclair. What happened? Um, as I became more disabled, the congregation uh, became less able to cope and... If they had problems with me anyway, this was a, a good way to uh, kind of finish off the relationship, you might say. Mm -hmm. um, there were no overt, uh, you've got to leave, but there were no, nothing done to encourage me to stay. Um, 
Did you ask for uh, ramps or anything like that? Uh, yes. Um, I asked for several things to be done, like the door turned around on my office. Um, it was too narrow for me to get in. Uh -huh. um, finally, I had the secretary take the money out of the pastor's discretionary fund and just do it. Um, I asked someone I trusted if we could put someday down the road, not right now necessarily, just someday down the road, right. um, some way to have access to the chancel. It was up about five steps, and my husband had to lug me in every Sunday. Uh, and she said, don't say that to anybody else. These people don't want their beautiful sanctuary marred by handicapped devices. So, um... I am sorry to interrupt you, except to tell you that I want to get this whole story in with time fleeting. You finally had... What, were, you in a, were you the pastor? I was the associate pastor. Associate. So you would preach and uh, be part of the service and all the rest. Right. Good. Well, hooray for the Presbyterians. Um, Certainly they respect women, but in, oh. in this case, they did, obviously you feel they didn't respect you. Well, let's not say they respected women to begin with. Most churches would rather have a migraine headache than have a woman pastor. You think so? And if you're disabled, male or female, forget it. I have not um, worked uh, for remuneration in four years. Uh -huh. You did decide to leave Montclair and you've moved, is that so? Yes. And you're unemployed. And I'm unemployed, and, um... And you're mad as hell, may we say? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I live in Louisville, Kentucky, and I am a part of a church there that's making an effort. But a lot of churches make little efforts, and then they think it's okay to stick all the disabled people over there in the corner. It's kind of like we used to put all the black people on the back of the bus. Right. I appreciate very much this painful uh, story you've shared with us. I'm glad you're have the courage to speak out on it. You lighten all of us, raise awareness that these very talented people are needed by a society and all they want is a little accommodation for whatever their disability might be. And we'll be back in just a moment. <laughs> I've got a 6 a.m. flight. I've got to get some Z's. Nitol safely helps you fall asleep fast so you can get your Z's. Nitol or maximum strength Nitol. Nitol will help you get your Z's. Kids don't have to wear a fire hat or a big raincoat to turn on the Fisher-Price Fun Hydrant. In fact, they don't have to wear much at all. The Fisher-Price Fun Hydrant. Three settings, four alarm fun. What would you like for lunch? I'd sooner have a nooner. Why, I'd sooner have a nooner. Bandito's lunch specials are called nooners. All nooners come with rice, free fried beans, complimentary chips and sauce, and free soft drink refills. A nooner is quick, delicious, satisfying, and just three or four bucks. And you? I'd sooner have a nooner in 20 years or sooner. And you, sister? I'd sooner have a nice lunch at Bandito's. Thank you. So you think getting older is boring, eh? Think again. The Townhouse Retirement Community, where life never gets old. A message from Sweeney, Pfeiffer, and Blackburn. When you've been seriously injured, you need prompt medical attention and the prayers and good wishes of family and friends. You may also need sound legal advice. I'm Charles Sweeney of Sweeney, Pfeiffer, and Blackburn. We'll tell you what you need to know to protect your legal rights. Remember, we don't get paid unless we make a recovery for you. Call now for a free office visit. Sweeney, Pfeiffer, and Blackburn, attorneys for injured people. Easy Access National Park has a video which Michael shot, and it's fabulous. Here is not only a beautiful, beautiful, full-color look at some of the most divinely inspired places in the United States of America. It's available to you at an 800 number. What is it again, Brian? 800 number uh, is 633-5633. Um, last and not least at all, uh, Jim Carews joins us. Glad you made it, Jim. Thanks for coming to see us. You're here with your mom, Eileen. You're from Los Angeles. Jim is six. Jim's challenge is cerebral palsy. And uh, 
uh, Jim's mom, Eileen, is likewise mad as hell. You have problems in, you live in San Pedro, a Los Angeles suburb. The neighborhood school will not be made accessible for Jim. Well, not, not quite. We don't live in San Pedro yet. We want to move to San Pedro. And we told the school that we were coming mm -hmm. and to introduce them to Jim and to let them know what his needs would be. And when my husband called the principal to tell him we're coming, she said, well, a handicapped child can't go to this school, which is against the law. First of all, yeah. we've dealt with special ed there. We've had Jim take his electric wheelchair to the school. He has driven the entire school by himself. Uh, are there steps in the front? There are steps in the front. Can but there's, you go up? No, there's a driveway to get on also. They won't let him use that. They have told us that they will not offer that school to him at all, and they want to bus him to another school that's about nine miles away. And you want to mainstream, as we say. We want to mainstream. In Los Angeles, there are only 47 schools that are adapted out of 700. So this is about money, uh, ramps, uh, funding, approval in a very uh, tax uh, beleaguered society. This is tough, Mom. Yes, it is. But if you talk about what it costs to make the school accessible, you're not taking things away from other children. What you're doing is making these children more aware of what's going on and giving them the resources from all these children that these children have to offer and giving it to all of them. I thank you, Mom, for uh, fighting for your child, as you do so well, and we'll be back in just a moment. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies often carry cold germs. A purple mountain's majesty might be covered with poison ivy. So Walgreens offers 24-hour service, prescription savings, and over 1,600 satellite link locations. As America's leading pharmacy, Walgreens covers your needs from sea to shining sea, not to mention nose to shining nose. Walgreens, the pharmacy America trusts. Tom Raper, Richmond, Indiana, Midwest headquarters for diesel pushers. What's a diesel pusher? A motor home with a diesel engine in back. Why in back? No engine hump between us. The crawlover. Floors flat. It's quiet. You mean I can talk more quietly? Right. How about fuel mileage? Much better. Diesels last longer, more dependable. How about price? About the same as gas. Nobody beats Tom Raper's bottom line deal. Let's take I-70 to exit 149A. Call free 1-800-RAPER-RV. Close Sunday. Save today, Tom Raper's way. Mom, thanks to you, I married Ed. Instead of Fred. Happy Mother's Day. Say it with elegant roses from Kroger, America's largest florist. Thanks, Mom, for letting me keep the puppy. Happy Mother's Day. Say it with a beautiful floral arrangement. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. You're the best. <coughs> best Grandma, too. Say it with a fresh spring bouquet. See the difference this Mother's Day. Go Krogering. At Penguin Point, we do hamburgers, cheeseburgers, double cheeseburgers, fish sandwiches, our exclusive tenderloin, world-famous fries, salad, chicken, fastest dry food in town, and now our chicken basket special, two pieces of our delicious chicken fries and coleslaw, only $2.49. Ready for a great sandwich? Try our quarter-pound pointer burger, only 99 cents. Come see us today. We do variety, and we do it best. Penguin Point is going to put a smile on your Ten years, 15 unsolved murders, almost half in Indiana and Ohio. Police from four states have combined forces to catch the murderer, and they all believe it's a truck driver. Yet why is this person still on the roads? 21 Alive's Dan Presser examines the evidence and explores the avenues this investigation is taking in order to find out why police are still working to find a murderer on death road. A special report tonight on 21 Alive News at 10. For a transcript of today's program, send $3 check or money order to Donahue Transcripts, 1535 Grand Street, Denver, Colorado, 80203, or call 303 831 9000. 13 murders, including one whose eyes were gouged out. She's engaged to him. Women tell why psycho killers get into their heads and beds. Next, Donahue. The National Park Foundation loves this book, and well, they should. Here is the first totally comprehensive look at uh, how accessible are our national parks, and some of them are more than others. And this is the video. You want to make the point, Wendy, this is a minority that what? It's the only minority anybody can join at any time. It's something we should all remember. Service is provided and promotional fees paid by the following.
At last, Alpine Lace fat-free and low-cholesterol singles made with real cheese. You mean I can eat cheese products again? New, free and lean. No-nonsense pantyhose, as beautifully put together as the women who wear them. No-nonsense. For the perfect weekend and the perfect frequent stay program, check into the new Drake, the only Swiss hotel on Park Avenue. There has never been a Winfield who didn't wear glasses. So imagine our extreme joy when New Vision announced buy one, give one free. Buy one pair of glasses and get a second pair free to keep for yourself or give to someone you love. Now, since I gave my free pair to my husband and the twins chose each other, that leaves Bobby Jr. who'd sure like to give his second pair to someone nice. So please give him a call. Buy one, give one free at New Vision. When you buy your waterbed from Big Sur, it's like buying directly from the factory. Because Big Sur owns the factory. It's how we keep quality high and the price is so low. Imagine a complete solid wood waterbed for just $199.99 in your choice of sizes. The Shiloh waterbed with lots of storage space is only $229.99. Or the Scottsdale with bookcase headboard and detailed mirror is just $269.99. Factory direct savings from Big Sur waterbeds. 430 Coliseum West, just west of the Glenbrook Mall on the next Maury Povich Show. She said we were so broke when we were...